um, I got to do a lot of time on the shop floor. So one of like the, the grunt jobs in my early days was like, we did 24 seven build support mm -hmm. when we were doing like a development engine. Cause there wasn't like work and there wasn't assembly instructions really. They were just PowerPoints, I think. So we would have to be there around the clock to make sure if there's any questions, they could like tap us mm -hmm. on the shoulder and ask. Um, so it's doing this overnight. And like, for one thing, like when that information isn't available mm -hmm. to the folks doing that, you know what happens? They just sit mm -hmm. there like until somebody shows up who can answer that question. So that's the reality. But then on the other hand, there's like brilliant people doing these jobs who have 30, 40 years of experience. They're very intelligent. They know they could probably design like better stuff than we design because mm -hmm. they'd see it and they're like, why is this like this? This is so stupid. Like it doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I have to do to like get <laughs> this thing in here? Mm -hmm. And they would show it to me and I'm like, interesting. I will tell my friends that that is the case, mm -hmm. but they would try to solve the problems on their own. So they'd be like in our PLM system with the entire engine, mm -hmm. like showing and, and like, looking for like how does this go together what goes here and i admired it because i was like this is not really in the job description mm -hmm. like you're there's a union like there's a designated responsibility that you have and you're really like going out there and trying to understand but like my god couldn't we make this better for you mm -hmm. like should you have to do this should it not just be presented to you because the information exists 